to add fractions, we need to get the same denominator for both, the same bottom number for both fractions. So in this example of numbers here, we're going to times this one by 3 and this one by 5. As long as we do the same to the top and the bottom of the fractions, they stay the same, they stay equivalent. So here we've got 6 over 15 plus 5 over 15. And then we can just add them up. So we can make them one fraction, 6 plus 5, so we've got 11 over 15. With algebraic fractions, the principle is exactly the same. So we just need to make the bottom numbers the same. So we're going to times this one, top and bottom, by x. So we're going to do x times top and bottom. And for this one, we're going to do x plus 5 times top and bottom. So as long as, oh, plus 5, as long as we're the same to the top and the bottom, uh, we can manipulate fractions however we like. So here we've got 2x on top over x times x plus 5. And here we've got well, x plus 5, 1 times it. And on the bottom, x times x plus 5. Now we've got two denominators the same. So we can make them one fraction. So it's going to be over x, x plus 5. And we've got 2x plus x plus 5. 2x plus x, to simplify the top line, is just 3x. So 3x plus 5 over x into x plus 5. And that's our final answer. OK, so let's look at a different example. This one has got a minus. So it's the same... Again, same principle as normal numbers, we're going to do the same thing, make the bottom numbers, the denominators the same, and then we're going to take away. So we're going to have to times this one by x plus 5. And we'll times this one by x minus 1. So let's look at this one, 6x plus 5 over x plus 5, x minus 1, minus 1 times x minus 1. I've left the 1 here because this minus sign is going to be important in a little bit. Um, that's because we're taking away the whole of this top line. So we're going to make it one fraction. We've got 6x plus 5. Take away 1x minus 1. Right, the reason I've left this 1 here is because I want to multiply into the bracket. And it's going to change this sign here. So when I take away minus 1, that actually means plus 1. So we simplify the top line. We do 6x times x, 6x, plus 30, minus x, and then plus 1. When I expand this bracket here, it becomes a plus 1. Over x plus 5, x minus 1. I've got some room here. Simplify the top line, so I've got 5x um, plus 31 over x plus 5, x minus 1. I can't divide top and bottom by the same thing, so I can't simplify it anymore. That means that's my final answer. Okay, this second one here says solve. Solve. Um, the first step's the same, and then we'll deal with the solving after. So we're going to add the fractions first. So times this one by x plus 3, and this one by x plus 2. So 12x plus 3 over x plus 2, x plus 3. Take away 12x plus 2 over the same thing equals 1. Now we've got the same denominators, we make it one fraction. So it's over x plus 2, x plus 3. And we make it one fraction.
simplify the top line, so we've got 12x plus 36 minus 12x minus 24. Bottom's the same. And it still equals 1. We can simplify this top line even more. 12x take away 12x is nothing. 36 take away 24 is just 12. So it gives us 12 over x plus 2 x plus 3 equals 1. Now, so we've got 12 over this equals 1. Now, when we're solving equations with fractions in, often the easiest thing to do is to get rid of the fractions. So, to get rid of the fractions here, we multiply by them. So, we multiply both sides by x plus 2 times x plus 3. So that has the effect of getting rid of it on this side. And I've got 1 times this, which is just itself. 1 times anything is itself. Then we can expand this bracket. So 12 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. So 12 equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. And whenever we've got a quadratic, this is a quadratic, so it's got an x squared, we need to make it equal to 0. So we're going to take the 12 off. So it's going to be 0 equals x squared plus 5x minus 6. 6 minus 12 is minus 6. And then to solve the quadratics, the easiest way is to factorise. So we'll have x in both brackets. What multiplies to make 6 and adds to make 5? Well, if we get a minus 6, we have to have one positive, one negative. So it's going to have to be 6 and 1, and we're going to have plus 6 minus 1. They add to make 5, and they multiply to give minus 6. And then x equals minus 6, and x equals 1. There are final answers. You can end up in a situation where you have something that doesn't factorise here and you have to use the quadratic formula or completing the square to solve it. Okay, so here's some questions for you to try. So see if you can or add the first two algebraic fractions and do the solve for the last one. Okay, the first one, so we're going to times top and bottom of this one by x, and top and bottom of this one by x plus 4. So, I'll try and work sideways. 2x over x times x plus 4, plus 1x plus 4, over x times x plus 4. Then we make it one fraction. So, all over x, x plus 4, 2x plus, leave it in brackets for now, 1 times x plus 4, and then, where should I go? <laughs> go here, um, 2x plus, expanding the brackets, x plus 4 over x, x plus 4. And simplifying the top line, 3x plus 4 over x times x plus 4. We cannot divide the top and bottom by the same thing. Can't simplify it anymore. That's the final answer. Okay. Now let's look at the second one. So we have times this one by x plus 2. This one by x plus 3. So we'll have um, 6 x plus 2 over x plus 2 x plus 3 minus 4 x plus 3 over x plus 2 x plus 3. Then we can make it one fraction because the denominators are the same. So x plus 2 x plus 3 is on the bottom. And on top, we've got 6x plus 2 minus 4x plus 3. 
Um, expand the top line. 6x plus 12 minus 4x minus 12. Again, over x plus 2 and x plus 3. Uh, 6x minus 4x is 2x, and 12 minus 12 is nothing, so 2x over x plus 2, x plus 3, and that's our final answer. Okay, now this last one, so the solve one. First step, we're going to add the fractions, so... I'm going to times this one by x plus 2, this one by x minus 1. So 6x plus 2 over x plus 2 times x minus 1. Take away 6x minus 1 over x plus 2, x minus 1 equals 1. Now the denominator is the same, so we make it one fraction x plus 2, x minus 1 on the bottom, and 6x plus 2 minus 6x minus 1 on the top. We're going to expand the top line, so 6x plus 12 minus 6x, and then be careful with this, minus 6 times minus 1 is plus 6, over x plus 2, x minus 1. I'm going to get rid of this thing on the bottom by timesing both sides by it. So actually we simplify the top line first which is going to give us 18. So 18 over x plus 2 x minus 1. Then we get rid of this by timesing both sides by it which gets rid of it from the left and it's just 1 times it which is just itself on the right. We've got a, we're going to have a quadratic, we need to expand it and take the 18 over. So x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2, um, which is minus 1 plus 2 is 1. So x squared plus x minus 2. And then we take the 18 over to the other side. So that's x squared plus x minus 20. Then it's equal to 0, so it's in the right form to factorise. So we'll go um, 4 times 5 plus 5 take away 4 will give me 1. And so x equals minus 5 and x equals 4.